From Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Professionals in the construction industry interrogated and tested the latest building tools and consumables at local construction equipment distributor UPAT's Open Day in January. Skulkberger has a story. The innovations displayed at the Open Day included new nylon plugs, chemical anchors, handheld bandsaws and chainsaws, as well as digital innovations for tracking power tools and for documentation and processing of measurements on a smartphone. UPAT distributes the Fisher range of construction fasteners, Milwaukee Power Tools, AEG Power Tools and Stabila measuring tools and provides technical support and advice on the applications in use. UPAT MD Richard Kuhlman highlighted the changes in the construction industry, including battery-powered hand tools and the growing digital integration of physical tools into construction professionals' work processes. For example, the latest Milwaukee Power Tools could be remotely tracked, assigned to sites or teams and locked using a smartphone application. UPAD also showcased chemical anchors for lightweight concretes, including polystyrene concrete, which is seeing growing use in some inner city projects. Richard Kuhlman tells us more. I think it's been through a hell of a turbulent time over the last 12 months, which caught everybody unexpectedly because from one month to the next, um, it declined severely. But generally, I think the mood is a more positive one this year. We're excited about all the new developments that we've got every year their new developments, which makes it easier for the construction companies to, to build quicker and faster and more efficiently. Well, Stabila, what you do is you can measure buildings or spaces and automatically download it onto the Stabila app and very quickly, on site, you can determine the size of areas. I mean, typically, if you've got a, a carpet installer, he can measure the area and immediately present a quotation. 75% of our sales in in tools now are cordless. Corded tools are slowly getting less and less. And it's not only for the convenience. The battery technology is growing in leaps and bounds. The strength of the batteries is astounding. The memory of the batteries and the ease with which you can charge them nowadays is really making it worthwhile for these to be used in construction. It could be an exciting year this year. I think there's a lot of change that has occurred to bring more optimism to to the market and let's hope that we're able to continue with that as a country. Other news making headlines. Business outlines five partnership priorities as it calls for new growth framework and agricultural sector plan prioritizes job creation and agro-processing. Business Unity South Africa has called for a new framework for growth that addresses through public-private partnerships the economic risk being posed by high levels of inequality. Our country needs a new framework for growth. Given the waves of disconcern passing through our country, exemplified through violent service delivery protests, it is clear that a substantial part of our, of our society has, understandably so, become embittered not only with the excesses of, in our political system, but importantly for us gathered here today with those who hold economic power. If unchecked, this rumbling resentment and the feeling of despair could trigger populism that may reverse our democratic gains. In short, the level of inequality in our country is now an economic risk. The answer is not to close ranks and protect each other at, at all costs. Rather, we should foster a genuine partnership that sets us, apart, that sets us on a path to a transformed and inclusive, and inclusive growth. AgBiz recently shared the agricultural sector's five-year business plan at the Business Unity South Africa Business Economic in Daba, held in Madrid. We had a very consultative process with all the ten value chains, all the, all the major value chains, ten major value chains in agriculture or agri uh, and processing, etc. So the outcome of this is a, a process of various value chains and those are also available for you at any stage. So this is just the roll-up and the top side of this that I'm indicating to you. Okay, so if we look at, at um, some of the, just the main figures in terms of primary agriculture, we'll see that, uh, that primary agriculture growth, that's just the farming sector, is roughly 2.5% of total GDP. But if you then look at your total um, contribution of the value chain, right, in other words, to the consumer, it's roughly 14% of GDP. 
And that then includes uh, the contributions of agro-processing, of logistics, finance, uh, trade, etc., other sectors of the economy. So it's sizable, very significant. If we then look at the number of jobs in primary agriculture, we don't have all these figures for all the other uh, parts of the value chain, but we lost a lot of jobs with the financial crisis in 2009. Now we've regained all those, but you will also see the volatility of the past few years, and that is primarily because of the droughts that we've had, especially in the Western Cape, which is a big employer of um, labor. That's Kruma Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.